Okay, uh, this was brought to my attention, and uh, those of you who watch Bo or the Fifth Column uh, would uh, will probably have seen it. Uh, but he mentioned, uh, and this is something I wasn't aware of. Uh, but he mentioned how uh, the uh, police chief in Houston, uh, where the uh, five cops were shot, uh, had put out uh, a statement uh, sounding very Nazi Gestapo uh, a way that you know. Uh, with people uh, who are agitating and calling for violence against police and so on and so forth and uh, so I wanted to touch upon that as well because uh, the way I look at it is if the police stop uh, going around killing the people who are paying them uh, who are unarmed or uh, even if they are armed uh, if they are if they were going after um, uh, people equally, uh, rather than uh, rather than uh, uh, you know picking and choosing, and uh, uh, you know uh, there are too many times that white uh, uh, white men uh, go and uh, and threaten and uh, 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 threaten or even uh, shoot at cops that uh, and they get uh, and they don't get shot and killed um you know uh if uh if they uh if they actually uh force the prosecution and jailing or uh with uh, the seriousness of of uh of uh uh with uh with criminals with badges then uh i don't think there'll be a, much of an issue but uh, that's not the case. It's the cops and the and the uh, union of the co uh, of the cops. Uh, the thin blue line uh, sticks up for the criminal uh, behavior uh, and outright murder and crimes being committed. And if uh, the uh, and if the prosecutors uh, would actually prosecute. And the mayors and other uh, officials uh, were actually uh, doing something about it, uh, rather than allowing these uh, murderers to uh, get away with it. And if the media didn't put a uh, put a spin on it, uh, then I don't think uh, the issue uh, would be arising. I think there would be respect for uh, cops and law enforcement and the judicial system. But that's not what's happening. Uh, we have a, we have a rise in, uh, in murder by, uh, murder by cops, uh, and it doesn't matter, it doesn't seem to really matter, uh, uh, who gets killed, uh, as more and more, uh, white people are being killed, uh, uh, whereas, uh, predominantly it had been minorities, were being uh, killed, uh, but even with the uh, murder of uh, murder by uh, by cops of white people are uh, are not are not facing the uh, uh, the the time or the consequences. Uh, so even if they are going to jail, they're uh, basically getting a slap on the wrist versus uh, people like uh, you know. Um, uh, there's a young woman who was sent to jail for uh, for uh, uh, for shoplifting a, a, a leather jacket or a leather purse or something like that. And she got 75 fucking years. Uh, that's just ridiculous. Uh, you have a a mother who uh, a mother of I think three who uh, was growing uh, uh, cannabis. So that she could extract the uh, oil, so that she could uh, control her Crohn's disease, and therefore, <coughs> and therefore, uh, <coughs> uh, she got better, and she was able to get off of welfare and go to uh, and start uh, uh, go to work and start taking care of her kids <coughs> and, her <coughs> and her family, and she's getting thirty years 
and she had her uh, children taken away from her. And that was a white woman. So, uh, this sort of crap happening, and the outright, uh, outright uh, oligarch oligarchic uh, fascist uh, takeover, uh, and the police acting like uh, acting like uh, law enforcement and police and the judicial system acting like uh, acting like mercenary uh, mercenary uh, mercenaries. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's right. Uh, people are gonna get uh, afraid. People are gonna get angry. People are gonna get outraged, and people are gonna shoot you because you're acting like criminals. When you act like a criminal, you get treated like a criminal. When uh, the, when the people who uh, who are uh, being arrested for things that shouldn't be criminalized, such as possession of uh, marijuana, and and this whole crap about uh, uh, the uh, war on drugs and all that, then yes, it's going to happen. When you have people who uh, who are, are who are barely able to uh, buy food. Or uh, get medical treatment, or medicine, or any, anything else, and there's no opportunity, and you're causing, uh, and you're causing all these, all these things, and on top of that, you're going around killing them, for trying to figure, find a way to, uh, uh, to stay alive, and not have to worry and be stressed. Then yes, and you go around killing them, and you go around murdering them. Then yes, they're gonna go out and uh, and kill you. It's not agitation; it's survival. When you have, uh, when inequality uh, is to the uh, point of obscene, and your and the public is being treated like uh, criminals, then yes, you are going to get shot. Then you you are going to get people that are going to talk, uh, uh, say shit about you, and accuse you of. Yes, it's going to happen. So. Uh, criminals like this, uh, like this uh, Houston uh, police chief, he's a criminal. The police union, they're criminals. Your mayors, your judges, your prosecutors, your DAs, they're, they're criminals for not, for not representing actual law and order. And I've made I've made a point of saying this before. I've made comments on this before. When you act like criminals, when you act like mercenaries, such as the Pinkertons and others in uh, back in history, basically you're being Pinkertons now. When you act like that, you're gonna get shot. You're gonna get uh, you're gonna get killed. There's no ifs ands buts about it. When you're the uh, when you're being tyrannical, when you're being uh, tyrannical under under official uh, status, then you are going to get shot. You are going to get killed. That's what happens. It's a consequence. It's cause and effect. When you cause fear, when you cause tension, when you cause anger, you're going to get shot. That's that's a fact. It's called causality. Get it through your heads. Represent the people and stop representing uh, illegitimate uh, uh, laws, illegitimate uh, rule, illegitimate, uh, uh, illegitimate uh, everything. Don't go around bashing people who are protesting. Don't go around shooting people who are protesting. Don't go around being uh, being hypocritical. Don't go around being uh, bigoted. Don't go around uh, uh, accusing everybody under the sun except yourselves. You brought you brought this. No one else did. What you should be doing is you should be arresting the politicians. You should be arresting the. Uh, the DAs, you should be arresting the judges, you should be arresting the uh, the corporations and the ultra-wealthy 
You shouldn't be going around being uh, uh, mercenaries and bludgeoning the people who are paying you and killing them. That's what that's what it all comes down to. If you don't want to get shot, and if you want to collect uh, a paycheck from the people who are uh, who are paying the taxes, which is not the uh, corporations, which is not the uh, uh, multi-millionaires and the multi-billionaires, and it certainly isn't the your politicians, then and and your. Uh, and the uh, and your uh, unions and and these think tanks and all that that uh, push this uh, this horrid uh, crap, this immoral, illegal crap, which allows uh, the ultra wealthy to buy positions. Then those are the ones you should be going after. You should be going after the uh, after the con artists. Uh, the televangelists, con artists, the uh, the uh, all these corrupt uh, criminal uh, outfits who are pushing uh, division and diversion and all that other all the other stuff that's uh, making a uh, making this uh, making the country a dangerous place. Those are the ones you should be going after. The fascists. The right wing fascists. Yes, you're gonna get shot. Yes, you're gonna get killed if you start if you provoke. And understand, you are vastly outnumbered. Hell, <clears throat> the right wingers and conservatives own more guns than any other than any other group in the country. People like myself don't own any guns. But you're going to get to the point where, you know, people like uh, me don't own any guns. And we generally don't want to go around having, uh, go around being odd and, sh and, and wanting to go shoot people up. But guess what? Right now, the, uh, the right wing is the one that's going after you. But you, uh, it's going to get to the point where you push, uh, you push the people that you're supposed to be protecting and serving and people like me uh, will get to the point where uh, we're going to get angry enough that we might uh, decide that we're going to pick up a gun and start protecting ourselves and thereby protecting others so stop think and stop being mercenaries stop being leg breakers because the, uh, because the government and yourselves are acting like organized crime. Your be your uh, your uh, criminals with badges, criminals with uh, with titles. That's what it comes down to. If you're trying to start a civil war, you're doing a damn good job of it. Straighten up. Protect and serve. Don't be military, uh, don't be mercenaries.